I'll be right back, but let's talk about how this video is violence towards gay people. Jesus, who wrote the Gospels? There is nothing casual about disrespecting Christ or Christianity, which is my religion. I know fully well that he will never ever wear eyeshadow. He will never ever in any way be feminine. Why? Because he's a masculine man. He is the originator of masculinity. He will not even like what you're doing or how you're representing him, even if you're, you're not representing him or you're just being who you are. Stop disrespecting Christianity and expecting respect from us. Disrespect us, yet you won't respect from us. Pick a side. Be on the offensive or I don't even know. Just stop. All right, my dear, you asked me to go on the offensive, as if me creating an entire account to address Christian supremacy isn't already on the offensive enough, but let's do it. There was nothing disrespectful in that video, let alone to you specifically. The video is talking about how scholarly resources say the Gospels are anonymous, and we know that they were not written by the authors that are attributed today to them. I said in this video that I'm disrespecting Christianity, which is your religion, because somehow you get to own what the image of Jesus is, what the image of Christianity is, and that's not how this works. You don't get to dictate a religion that billions of people follow and say that someone else is doing it wrong. You're saying I'm disrespectful just because I'm feminine. As you said, Jesus would never wear eyeshadow, which honestly doesn't make sense in the time period that you're referring to. Most of us realize historically eyeshadows worn by men and started in Middle Eastern and African countries before Jesus was alive. You know that, right? So to clarify, you got that video on your FYP and you got upset at it, upset at the historical facts. Therefore, you went on the actual offensive, attacking me and sending people to my page. Because of you making your video, I receive threats like this. Or even more directly ones like this. I'll come to your house and fuck me three DMs because 36,000 people saw that video and liked it. Gay people are not your enemy. I in no way directly attacked you, but in you putting out a video saying that this needs to be dealt with sends people as a call to action saying, yeah, you're right, we should attack gay people. People get shot in nightclubs. People get killed in the streets for being trans or too feminine, as you say, because of content like yours that goes out into the world and people listen. When you attack me because you have your feelings hurt by something that is an intellectual discussion, that only tells me that you are not strong in your faith. If you cannot investigate and hold the Bible to a critical level of thinking, then you are insecure in your spirituality. That is not my fault. Eyeshadow has nothing to do with that. And my life and how I live it in no way affects yours. If you have a problem, if you are threatened, you need to investigate why before calling people to go harm other people. And Jesus was literally like the divine feminine inside a male body. It says that throughout the Bible. He is not just masculine. <laughs> Be sure to over bigotry. Jesus, who wrote the Gospels? Well, they weren't written by Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Mm, what do you mean? What I mean is that you are actually making a caricature of Christianity and of who Jesus Christ is. And with that, you're being blasphemous and disrespectful towards Christianity. All right, Jesus, I'm taking in this time. You're actually making a caricature of Christianity and of who Jesus Christ is. And with that, you're being blasphemous and disrespectful towards Christianity. We're not the ones who depicted a Middle Eastern prophet with white skin, light hair and bright blue eyes. And I'm not having that. Every other person might smile or not do anything at your casual disrespect. But me, there is nothing casual about disrespecting Christ or Christianity, which is my religion. Are you in any way surprised that a gay man such as G. Gazers might have a little disrespect for a religion that has persecuted the likes of him for centuries. By the way, this is not offensive. This is basic facts, education. Or if it's the rainbow you find offensive here, that's a you problem. There is nothing offensive or wrong with homosexuality. The fact that people still haven't learned this in the 21st century is disappointing, to say the least. You're making a caricature of my Lord and Savior because I know fully well that he will never ever wear eyeshadow. He will never ever in any way be feminine. Why? Because he's a masculine man. He is the originator of masculinity. What the hell are you on about? I'm not even going to touch the subject of Jesus being some kind of figurehead of masculinity, but there's nothing wrong or feminine about guys wearing eyeliner, especially in the Middle East. By the way, fun fact, this is not eyeliner. This is an ancient technique used in the Middle East called kochela, which I have definitely mispronounced. This is used for a number of reasons, such as eye protection from the sun. Again, nothing feminine about that. So what I'm saying is stop disrespecting Christianity and expecting respect from us. 
you disrespect us yet you won't respect from us pick a side before you demand any respect for your religion consider the damage that your religion might have done to those individuals and the damage it's done throughout history a religion does not get to persecute execute in the name of god strip away human rights and then demand respect considering how many people lie dead due to heresy or simply being gay who is it who owes the respect here and so what i'm saying is stop disrespecting christianity and expecting respect from us i almost forgot the most important part you can't disrespect a religion you can analyze it you can criticize it you can study it and ultimately believe it but religions are an institution and institutions can't be disrespected, but they can be held accountable. Remember, religions don't deserve respect. People deserve respect until they do something that loses it. If it were some other religion, you wouldn't do it because Christianity is an easy target. That's correct, I would not. Here's an example, I would never correct someone's Spanish because A, I wasn't raised speaking Spanish, so it's not my place. And B, if someone speaks Spanish incorrectly, it has no effect on my life. Christian nationalism and the supremacy that comes with it does affect my life because it leads to controlling laws and it feeds people's hatred and bigotry. My response has been facing that head on. I have developed a queer image of Jesus so that I can provide people a space to heal from trauma and tell them that they are not broken and born sinful. You said it yourself, Christianity is an easy target. And I wonder whose fault that is. Because it affects everyone. They tell everyone, gay or not, that they're unworthy. So correct, it doesn't make sense to go after minority groups who are without power or any kind of systemic influence. But it makes perfect sense to call out a majority religion that acts as an empire that abuses their power to affect people's daily lives and their actual safety. So yeah, I'll call that shit out all day, every day, and I'll continue to do so. Dressed as what they fear most, an effeminate gay man who looks like the white Jesus that they've weaponized for centuries. And it's not just my responsibility, it's all our responsibility to stop this country from slipping into a Christian theocracy. Not waste time going after minorities who aren't ever trying to force their religion onto other people. I almost forgot. Even with videos coming after me like this. And this. Oh, big number. Leading threats like this. And this. I have to remember that yesterday it also led to this. No, 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 no. This, yes. It's someone, you're an icon, truly.